The War of the Rehurim narrates the tale of Helm Hammerhand, the ninth king of Rohan and the last of its original line of kings, and the beginning of the castle Helm's Deep. It is set 183 years before the events of the Lord of the Rings, the Two Towers. Helm Hammerhand is commemorated by a statue in Peter Jackson's The Two Towers, and Tolkien's appendices contain a biography of him. Hammerhand, a member of the House of Ural, is renowned for leading the Rehurims during turbulent periods marked by battles and disputes with the Dunlendings. A tribe of savage men who were forced to reside on the boundaries of Rohan by the Rehurim and sought retribution against them. Frika, a wealthy landowner with Rehurim ancestry who attempted to set up a union between his son Wolf and King Helm's daughter Hera, was a rival of King Helm. Frika was inadvertently murdered by Helm with one blow while attempting to marry his son and Hera, according to legend. The Dunlendings, commanded by Wolf, launched an attack on Rohan as a result, and Helm was victorious. When he was forced to flee, he found refuge in a place that would later earn the name Helm's Deep. But the narrative is far from over, it is only the beginning of Helm's stories, as the man continues to protect the Rehurim in life and in death. Leaving his daughter Hera to muster the fortitude to lead her people in rebellion against those who were determined to destroy them. Based on the historical period and the characters in the movie, The Lord of the Rings, the War of the Rehurim will probably follow these events. However, it is unknown what creative license and story direction they will give the story.